the whole process for, for you getting here, it, it worked quickly, they made a quick decision. What was it about this uh, franchise that appealed to you? Um, you know, just a, a great head coach, great, um, you know, energy. Um, and I, I felt it from the moment I got here. Um, but you look at a team that's been competing well for the past couple of years, um, you know, leading the AFC right now, leading the division. And, you know, when I when I watch them, it's, it's crazy because I was watching the game Sunday against the Colts, and you just see a group of guys offensively, defensively, that's gritty, you know, just this, this, this grinding and um, doing whatever it takes to, to, to win the game. So that right there speaks value. A lot of the guys have said that, you know, there's a degree of energy or juice that, that you've brought already. Was that something coming in, like, purposely, or is that just kind of just what comes with that Adrian Peterson pack? Yeah, it's something that just comes with it. You know, uh, I just be myself, and, you know, that's that's all I've done since I've been here. How much do you feel like you can, can do having come from not playing for half a season? Yeah, it's been a while, huh? About, what, 10 months? But um, I feel good, you know, so they call my number. I'm going to go out there and contribute in any way that I can. Uh, you know, I do a great job of keeping my body in shape, uh, you know, physically, uh, mentally, and um, just just keep myself prepared for a moment like this. How excited are you to be here? That this, that this might be it, that, you know, that, that, that you might not have another chance if you ever about that? Um, I, I'll be lying to you to say that. That wasn't in the back of my head somewhere. I had to keep swiping it out, you know. Um, and but, you know, I'm the type of individual that I never um, lose hope, you know. So um, always, you know, keeping that hope in there that you know opportunity can and will pre present itself, you know. So that's that's what happened. And with, with that said, how excited are you to be here to help and uh, have an idea what your role might be? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be here. You know, you think of the ideal situation for a running back like me and my style, it would be this right now, you know. And um, so I'm just going to live in a moment and enjoy it and uh, do whatever they ask me to do. I'm sure you have a bit of a connection with Derek and the Heisman and all that, but have you had any conversation with him since you got here? And uh, what would you say? No, I haven't had a conversation with him. You know, I know he had surgery on Tuesday. And I kind of been going, you know, my wheels been running. But now that things are kind of slow down a little bit today and tomorrow, um, I'll be reaching out to him just to check in on him and see how he's see how he's doing. You mentioned the sort of fit that you have with this team, the style they play with. I guess in terms of schematically what the Titans do in the running game, is it sort of the types of things you've had success with before? <clears throat> yeah, you know, just watching them, you see inside zone, um, outside zone, of course. Um, you know, ISO, and those are all things that I've had success with, you know, um, my time in Minnesota, just my entire career. Um, so I think I'll, I'll fit in well. What did you hear from the guys when you came in? Uh, had such a good career, coming at a difficult time with Derek injured. What was the welcome like from new teammates? It was a, a, a warm welcome. You know, uh, you know guys were, they seemed excited to have me here. Uh, you know, but you know, of course, it's all about you know what you can do. You know now, you know. So I feel like once I came out and you know the way that I approach practice and 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 the meeting room, you know, I know guys you know are watching and guys you know kind of feed off that as well. So um, you know, my whole mindset is to let them know that hey, I'm coming in here, I'm serious, and I want to do whatever I can do to contribute and help this team uh, continue to be successful. Does it what? Does it kind of add to the to the challenge and maybe your motivation as well that you're potentially stepping in for? Him? Mm, you know, Derek is a guy that I had as the front runner for the MVP. You know, and uh, to sit here and say that one back can replace him, you know, that that'll be saying a lot. You know, so like I said, I mean, I'm coming in. We got a great group of guys um, in the running back room, and you know, collectively as a group, we're gonna go out and and do what they ask us to do, and and ultimately to be successful. What did you do 
to stay ready and to keep yourself in shape and how you how you feel starting off here? I feel good. I feel good. You know, um, I love hitting the track. You know, uh, in Texas, you know how the heat is down there. So, uh, you know, it helps, you know, keep your wind and your, your lungs open. You know, chasing my kids around you know, definitely helps out a lot, too. Um, but, yeah, just kind of just taking care of my body, being mindful of that, you know, and keeping that hope that, hey, someone can call. The opportunity, you know, will still present itself. So, you know, doing those things that I can do to make sure that I'm ready if the opportunity came. That kind of shape versus football shape make you maybe yeah. a little more susceptible to, to soft tissue injuries or stuff like that? You know, one thing I've learned is that uh, no matter what type of shape you get in, there's nothing like football shape. Like, there's nothing like it. So that's one of the main reasons I've been out here in the, you know, 100 miles per hour, <laughs> you know, uh, trying to cut and do all those things um, because I haven't, like I said, I haven't played ball in a long time. Um, but you know, as long as you take care of your body, you know, those are things that you can you can avoid. For you physically, like where are you as far as being able to match your feet with your eyes? Because one of the things you've always done well, cut back and find that lane and, and you know, take it to the house. So where are you from, from that perspective? I feel like I'm in a good place, you know. Um, and I feel like God has gifted me with, you know, incredible talent um, and, and a gift. And I think my number one, um, you know, asset is my eyes. And, you know, my legs to follow. Um, but, you know, like I said, getting out there in the live action is totally different than, you know, practicing even full speed. You know, it's totally different. But, um, you know, I'm a type of I'm a type of individual, even when I'm at home, you know, I'm, I'm when I'm walking around the corner, I'm dipping around the corner, you know. So I'm, I'm practicing at all times, even with my eyes as well. Um, so I think I'll I think I'll be all right. What do you <laughs> It's wonderful. <laughs> it, it, it's wonderful. I look at the last two teams I was a part of, and you know, zero and eight, and um, two and five. I think you know to, to come into a situation where you got a you know playoff team last year and a team that's leading the AFC and their, their division is six and two. So a breath, fresh air. Um, to go out, play my heart out. You know, if I'm given that opportunity to go out and, you know, uh, let my teammates know um, that, you know, I'm just jumping in, jumping in line. You know, next man up, and I'm gonna come in and put my best foot forward. And how much has your experience in the league prepared you for this situation, jumping into a new team at this time of the year and essentially trying to fill a void? Yeah, 14 years in now. You know, well, thank God. What what a blessing. But, you know, having the opportunity of, you know, being in Washington and transitioning week one, going to Detroit, you know, um, being in New Orleans and, you know, on a Tuesday and going in and playing in Arizona that following Sunday, um, you know, I think my time has allowed me to have a lot of different op situations present, them present themselves. So um, it's, it hasn't been too bad, and I feel like I'll be able to kind of um, just kind of roll with the blows. Mm -hmm.